During the 2018-19 season, we welcome people home for exceptional live experiences right here at their Fox Cities Performing Arts Center. We hosted nearly 500 events that welcomed approximately 204,000 people, 22,000 of whom were attending an event for the first time. The Bemis Company Education Series expanded the classroom learnings for more than 24,000 students throughout our region, and nearly 5,000 people participated in a community-first community engagement program. The Center's mission reached far beyond our seats and deep into the community thanks to some great partnerships. Our Kennedy Center Partners in Education Teachers Workshop expanded our educators toolbox by exploring the ways that artistic movement and expression can be used when teaching science and math students, English language learners, and students creating poetry. We partnered with the SPARK program to bring participants to the Golden Boys, where as they entered the lobby they got to see their own artwork on display, they participated in pre-show activities, and then of course enjoyed some great live music. And then, with the support of the Community Foundation, we were able to take cast members from Into America out into five mostly rural schools where they were able to engage 800 students in exploring the themes found in their show. Children in rural schools may have additional barriers to um, access to the arts. That it's not only transportation cost, it's also the amount of time required um, to getting to the Performing Arts Center. So being able to take the performances out to the rural schools, that just takes away the barriers and provides access to the youth in those communities. I think that's important to the Community Foundation and also to our donors. When we have opportunities to bring cast out into a school, it's a unique opportunity for us to really bring classroom lessons to life. One of the programs that they offer is this program called Get Up and Go. And it's a unique opportunity where casts are able to go out into the schools and do a program which encourages fitness and healthy lifestyles. So the students are probably familiar with The Lion King. They probably either read the story or seen the movie or maybe even seen the Broadway musical. So when we have casts like this to be able to talk to the students and have a different perspective, to be able to teach them about healthy lifestyles or to be able to do um, healthy movement, that it's just a different opportunity to use the arts as an opportunity to teach things that they're already learning in the classroom. One especially memorable moment was the Arts Alive series performance of Trey McLaughlin and the Sounds of Zamar. 100 students from two Fox Cities high schools were able to participate in an inspirational workshop and then join the group on stage to sing a few numbers the night of the show. <laughs> We were thrilled to welcome actor Stephen Lang, who delivered a powerful performance of Beyond Glory and engaged with our community through community workshops and made great connections with local veterans. Well, we've been doing the Veterans Lunch for eight or nine years, and this year it was amazing because the PAC actually approached us and said, you know, we have a veteran actor, Stephen Lang, coming uh, to the PAC to perform, and he would love to have the opportunity to engage with some local veterans and this was just a great partnership. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, I got to not only meet Stephen Lang prior and, and speak with him but then sit amongst my fellow veterans and some of the community. There was tears, laughter all over the place, uh, a lot of applause. It was very heartfelt. As we reflect on this past season and all the engaging and educational experiences, we have so many to thank. To our annual partners, Keystone Fund contributors, season ticket holders, staff, volunteers, and especially our community, thank you for making this your home, your gathering place where the arts come alive.